Hold on, you believe in history, right? No. Believe history, you, mean, you believe slavery happened, right? <laughs> slavery happened, right? Somebody give me, somebody hold this sign up right quick. Somebody hold this sign up. I want to show you something. Hold this sign up right quick. Flip it around. All right. Look at this right here. Who does that say? The heir, the white man, and the African. So, the heir for once, what? Dark skinned people, right? Okay. What were the heirs worshiping at that time? Give me Jeremiah 3, verse 2. All heirs in the Zion of the Compact Bible Dictionary consider themselves Muslim to Muhammad. Arabs came from Ishmael, right. not Isaac. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right. Both of them came from Abraham, right? right. What's that Genesis one you had? Hold that. Read this right quick. Read. Jeremiah, chapter 3 and verse 2. Because before the transatlantic slave trade, you had the sub-Saharan slave trade. That's where we were taught Islam. Right. That's what we were taught being a Muslim, either be a Muslim or die. That's what we were taught. Right. Read. Lift up thine eyes unto the high places, uh -huh. and see what thou hast not been lying with. Uh -huh. In the ways as thou sat for them. Uh -huh. as the, he sat for who? As the Arabians. As the what? As the Arabians. God says that in the wilderness when we were in, uh, in captivity, we sat for who? As the Arabians in the wilderness. In the wilderness, that's where we learned Islam. Right. Right. Islam was created what day, sir? Yeah, I mean, Islam was created in 622 That's A.D. Right. That means it was created after who? Oh, yeah. After right. Christ. Right. So, if it was made after Christ, that means that Abraham, Adam, neither one of them couldn't have been Muslim because right. it was made after they died. That's right. Give me that in Genesis now. Listen to the scripture right here. 17, watch this, bro. We're trying to listen. We're trying to show you something, bro. Because a lot of our people, and not saying it's just your situation, a lot of our people become Muslim because they've been to prison, and they become Muslim to stay safe in prison. My father was in prison, and he told me a lot of people converted to Islam because Islam was safety in prison. But our people don't believe in that. Why? Because God says you are the Israelites. God says you so-called blacks and Hispanics are to keep God's laws, not worship a rock or Muhammad. Read what you got. Genesis chapter 16 and verse 11. Let's read about one of those forefathers you said that was Arab or Muslim. Read. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and shall bear a son, and shall call his name Ishmael. And shall call his name Ishmael. So this was Abraham's first son, Ishmael. Read. Because the Lord hath heard thy affliction, uh -huh. and he will be a wild man. He will be a what? A wild man. God says that the Ishmaelites, the Arabs, today, the true Muslims right. should be wild men. Bring it out. Are the, are the, uh, nation, is the nation or NOI, are they strapping bombs to themselves and blowing themselves up and saying, Ali Akbar? I'm asking. I'm asking the question. Because what I'm saying is, I understand the Arabs that's over there. The so-called Arabians, the so-called Arabians, right? They are prophesied to be a wild man. I'm telling you that the Bible is saying they taught you how to be Islamic regardless. Right. No matter if you suffer C4 to, your, to yourself or you put the bean pies or you put bow ties on your neck. My question is this. My question is this. You believe in the Quran, right? Hold that 21. What has Islam done for our community? Since you believe in it so much, what has Islam done for our community? Bro? Bring it out! What can I do? I'm asking you as a Muslim. I don't know. I'm asking you as you being a Muslim. I'm not a Christian. We're not Christianity. We're not Christian. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Are you listening to what I'm I want to make a point. Are you listening to what I'm saying first? We're not Christianity. So now, you're asking me what, now my question is, your question should not be first, what do we do? Your question should be before you deny it, what are we teaching? Bring it out. Bro. So you're asking what we're teaching. We're asking what we teach. we're asking when he asked you over there, you said, I'm not with the Bible. I worship Islam. I worship Quran. Yeah. We were nice enough to bring out your book. No, I worship God. That's it. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question again. Hey. I'm going to ask you a question again. Yeah. What has Islam done for our community? And I will tell you what we've done for our community. Stop playing some Okay, so if you can't answer the question, I'm going to tell you what the Israelites do for the community. The Israelites are keeping God's commandments. That's right. 
We are setting back up the black and Hispanic household. We keep the law of that's not commit adultery. That's not commit adultery will make sure that I can't sleep with your wife or vice versa. That will fix the hoods. We're telling our brothers don't defile your temple. That will fix the, fix the hoods. We're telling our people don't shoot each other or game bang. That's going to fix the hoods. That's just a small piece. So my question is this. Do you believe that you are African American society today? What are you doing? You're black. Can you go to an land of black? Do you speak the land? Do you speak the language black and Bring it out! This is not the land of black. This is the land of your oppression. How can this be your land? You were brought here on slave ships. Bring it up. That's what you're not understanding. Were your people brought here on slave ships? Yes or no? Okay then. So if they were brought here on slave ships, how can this be your land? How can this be the land of black? When you were brought here. We're telling you that we can, brother, if we keep God's commandments. That's right. You just so doped up on Islam, you're not listening. Okay? Now, I'm going to go back to the Bible and read something with you. Bro, listen, just listen to the Bible. Read verse 21, bro. You believe in something that you really don't know about, bro. Read. How many guys did Islam have? How many guys did Islam have? Before there was monotheistic. Before they were monotheistic. Before they were monotheistic. You're not listening, bro. That's the new era of religion. Before they had 365 gods for each day. Meaning Kumal, the moon god. That's where you get your Allah Eli. That's your one god. Hey, keep the commandments, bro. Islam was beat into you. Point blank, period. You believe something you don't know. Black men, you are not Islam. Abraham was not Muslim. Adam was not Muslim. They were not. You just came up here to speak your semantics, and we're not hearing that. We speaking thus said the Lord. Man. That's right. Point blank, period, man. So let's let's clear up all the confusion that that brother said, because he doesn't have a Quran on himself. Let's see whose covenant God was with. Read Genesis chapter seventeen and verse twenty-one. Because Islam tells you it was the covenant was with uh, Ishmael. Let's see what the Bible says. But my covenant will I establish with Isaac. What does the Bible say? But my covenant will I establish with Isaac. Isaac is the one who got the covenant established with him. That's who right. came from Isaac? The 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Now read this right here. Let's see if Adam was Muslim. Give me 2nd Andrews chapter 3, start at verse 4. 2nd Andrews chapter 3 and verse 4. O Lord, who bears rule? Thou spakest at the beginning, uh -huh. when thou didst plant the earth, uh -huh. and, thy, and that thyself alone, uh -huh. and commandest the people. Now, let's see what he gave Adam. And gave us a body unto Adam. Unto who? Unto Adam. Read. Without soul. So he didn't have anything when he first was made. Let's see what God gave Adam. Which was the workmanship of thine hand. And what did he do? And this breathed. Into, what? And this breathed Read. into him the breath of life. Give me Proverbs 7 and 2. Let's see if, if God gave uh, Adam his love, or let's see if God gave Adam the commandments. Bring it out. Let's see. Let's see what the Bible says. Because a lot of Islamic or Muslims are fake Muslims here today. Right. Read. Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 2. Keep my commandments and live. So when you breathe, you got to live. Let's see what the commandments are again. Keep my commandments and live. So let's go back to 2nd Ezra chapter 3. He gave him the commandments. Read verse 6. 2 Andrew chapter 3 and verse 6. And thou ledest him into paradise, which thy right hand had planted, before ever the earth came forth. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So Adam was established before Egypt, was established before Arabia, meaning he was established before Islam. That's right. Read. And unto him. Unto who? Unto him. Unto Adam what? Thou gave us commandments to love thy way. God gave Adam the commandments. He didn't give him a damn Quran. Right. Now you will see the treatment of God. We are not black men, we are the Israelites.
but you would sound odd For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it sounds wrong, man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.